Coach Chow, great to have you with us. Welcome to our show. And uh, let us know a little bit about the current training process you are leading your team through. And um, this is very important, I know, before the uh, upcoming national championships. Uh, sure, yes, uh, it's great seeing you. We are focusing more getting ready for the national uh, championships. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very challenging time uh, worldwide dealing with this COVID-19 issues. But I think the coaches, the athletes are working together really well. We made some good progress and we're looking forward to this first competition after this pandemic. Let us know about some of the progress you are happy with. Well, I think the hard work is the foundation of this, this team. We have a, a strong, good supporting system. And also we have a wonderful coaches, um, you know, with all the good hard work. I think we worked on the weakness or weak, weak uh, events such as vault or floor exercise. Mm -hmm. And we were focusing on physical condition training and uh, you know everything will not happen overnight but you we certainly have this good team working together very hard every day you've done a lot of really proven a lot in the uh, international gymnastic world you know you actually uh single-handedly trained sean for example uh, johnson gabby douglas and took them to the uh, podium level and gold medals won in the Olympics and so forth. You've done that. You've already proven yourself. What actually made you, what triggered you to come back to your hometown? What would you like to really <laughs> prove to us or to the rest of the world? Well, it's, uh, it's so much fun to be back and it's a great honor to have this uh, women's team head coach. We learned again, and this is a great team, has a lot of good wonderful traditions we just have to keep building on such as physical condition physical ability and also uh, building up some good difficulties in the athletes routines now it's time to show off at our national championships next week you know your journey to beijing again your, of course it's your hometown could be actually uh, a risk there because um, it doesn't guarantee that you definitely will create another Sean Johnson or Douglas. I mean, have you ever thought about it? Because it is an, uh, an adventure, if you will. <laughs> I, I think, again, there's no magic word towards to sports or any sports that the hard work yeah, has to be done every single day. Mm -hmm. I think the hard part is keep the athlete healthy and also be enjoy their hard work every single day. Mm -hmm. I think that's the, the art of coaching. So down the line, Coach Xiao, what would you like to be remembered most in your gymnastic career, especially your coaching career? Well, I, again, I do believe that uh, the sports of gymnastics, I have learned, which I'm benefit fine. Also, I'm not learning. I wasn't only learning the skills, but also learning the skills for life. I really hope that you know uh, through my coaching career mm -hmm. that I can educating our next generations to come, not only learning the sports of gymnastics or winning the medals or gold medals, but also learning the, the, the skills for life. And right, hopefully also gaining a lot of pleasure and joy out of gymnastics, the beauty of, of course, the sport. Of course. You bet. On that note, we need to wrap up this conversation. We certainly hope that with your leadership, the Chinese women's uh, national gymnastic team will go places as desired. Coach out. great to talk to you. All the best to you. Take care. Thank you very much. Take care.